Ghana where a gentleman fell from the balcony fourth floor of the building. Now, members of the Upper West Parliamentary Caucus have expressed concern about the failure by government to provide seed fund to the Upper West Regional Hospital since it started operation. According to the Nadoli Kalio Member of Parliament, Anthony Suma, a former health administrator, one of the requirements before a hospital starts operating is a seed fund and other vehicular logistics. Now, this has been lacking since the hospital began operating 14 months ago and has had to survive on the benevolence of organizations and individuals. Rafiq Salam was at the meeting between the Upper West Parliamentary Caucus and staff of the regional hospital and has filed this report. Among the myriad of challenges that were put before members of the Upper West Region's Parliamentary Caucus in their maiden meeting with stakeholders in the health sector in the region was government's failure to provide seed fund for the Upper West Regional Hospital. Members of the Parliamentary Caucus do their own research, use the opportunity to tour the over 200 bed facility hospital to acquaint themselves with its operations and by extension challenges faced by the region in the health sector with a view to finding solutions to them. When it comes to these things, we don't have parties. We have just members of parliament from the region. And I, can, and I can assure you, we are going to work closely together. And the regional minister, I believe that we can reach the highest point of decision making to make sure all the issues that are discussed, that are brought up, that require our attention, and that require some actions, will be taken into serious consideration. Upper West Regional Director of Health Services, Dr. Damien Pongyuri, led the charge and laid bare the health situation in the region in a little of an hour presentation. Member of Parliament for Nadolu Kaleo constituency, Anthony Suma, and his colleagues could not understand why the regional hospital has not been provided with seed fund 40 months after it started operations. I am not sure anywhere in the literature that I have read, there is a hospital that has started without seed capital or seed logistics, let me just for want of a better word, seed logistics, and not even a big, no way. So it must be magic to have gotten the hospital started. But that should not deny us of our entitlement. When they are commencing a hospital, these are part of the uh, entitlement the hospitals must start with. They must have seed capital, some logistics, and a vehicle, and I know from my engagement that some of the new hospitals that were established with Minister, they started with as many as one uh, pickups. We see capital. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz bin Sali noted that steps have already been taken to enable the government provide a seed fund to the hospital. The regional director is aware that I have been in touch with the Director General of the Ghana Health Service together with the Minister for health, it, has the, it is at the highest level, but I will need the support of our caucus members. So I'm ready to attend the meeting once they are ready and they invite me, I'll definitely go to Accra so that we all go and they meet the Minister for Health and as well as the Minister of Finance. The issues that have been tabled before us, we have to table everything so that when we go there, it will be a comprehensive discussion, not only about the seed capital for this hospital, just about health delivery for the Upper West region. Another area of concern was inadequate medical doctors and critical health staff in the region. The region has 66 medical doctors, half of the number are on steady leave. There is no doctor in what is consistent. So, normal. What can we do to get a doctor? The whole, you know your constituents, the population is over, it's close to uh, uh, 100,000 now, and they don't have a single uh, doctor. And you saw the map, it's about the second largest or third largest in terms of, in terms of like, I mean, land size. So the people have to travel long distances even to cross to one of these large houses. The member of parliament for the wise constituency Dr. Goffrey Serujasao is out about the revelation. 
that we are already aware that healthcare facilities are scattered in the Eastern Corridor compared to the density they are we have in the Western Corridor. And so that, that aspect is something that I believe we can take up. But my point is that we should not despair. Once we started this kind of engagement, it means that we are beginning to fashion our solution and pathway to solving some of these problems. The meeting came to an end with a pledge by the Apple's Region Minister, the Parliamentary Caucus, together with the Speaker of Parliament, to contribute an amount of 70,000 Ghana cities within two weeks for the installation cost of a PCR machine at the hospital. Reporting for Joy News, Rafik